My name is Nish. Uh, I was born in this country, but my parents were not. My parents come from India, and they're from a state in India called Kerala. Now, Kerala is an interesting place. There's been a lot of immigration there in the last 700, 800 years. Vasco da Gama led a Portuguese delegation. There's an indigenous Arab population. There's an indigenous Jewish population. And what's happened is all that diversity has crawled up and landed on my face. <laughs> because this is an ethnically ambiguous situation, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like I've gone to a costume party dressed as everyone, OK? <laughs> And the other thing I found about my face is it changes depending on the angle that you're looking at it. Because it starts like this, it goes Arab, 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 Jew, Brazilian. It's that kind of... <laughs> it's that kind of exciting a face. And you might think, oh Nish, that's nice, you embody the diversity of the global community, you're a true citizen of the modern world. Let me tell you, all this means is I get stopped at customs everywhere. <laughs> I am a person of interest to absolutely everyone. And it doesn't matter if they see the British passport, because I've got a face that looks like it comes from the People's Arab Republic of Jewistan. <laughs> <laughs> And the weirdest, I've been confused for everything, uh, like Brazilian, North African, Arab by US Customs, that was not fun. Um, <laughs> once Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> but in my friend's grandmother's defence, she is fading. Now, the strangest, the strangest thing that ever happened to me was once I was doing a gig and I came out and I said, oh, I'm Indian. And the lady down the front went, oh, which is a weird noise to hear at a comedy show. And I said, what's the matter, madam? And she said, I thought you were Red Indian. Yeah, I'm one of the famous fucking London Apaches, for Christ's sake. <laughs> and I was incredibly offended, not by the comparison, because they're very cool people, but by the fact that she's afraid phrase Red Indian and not Native American, which is so offensive. Because you know there was a period in European history where explorers went abroad going, oh, everybody looks Indian. Because they got to Jamaica and they were like, these people are West Indians. They got to America and they were like, these people are Red Indians. I'm glad they stopped there. <laughs> that's not an Eskimo, that's a cold Indian. <laughs> And the thing is, when I was at school, right, I was always very good friends with girls, but I didn't, I was I didn't really kiss girls when I was at school, largely because I was too busy getting excellent A-levels. Now, very intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> now, the problem with that is that when you don't kiss girls at school, you develop really weird ideas, and you have no clue about how to interact with them as an adult. A couple of years ago, I got into the television show Mad Men, right? And the lead character in Mad Men is a guy called Don Draper, who's really mysterious. So that's what I thought I'll do. I thought, well, I'll be mysterious. Turns out, I don't know anything about being mysterious, and when I try it, it just comes off as threatening. <laughs> I once said to a woman with no discernible trace of irony, you have no idea what I'm capable of. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have got our fantastic headline actually this afternoon. She's an absolutely wonderful comedian. We've performed together in Edinburgh, we've performed together many times since. So you're in for an absolute treat. So let me start again. Give me the lowest level of applause that you can possibly muster. Lovely. Now raise it up. <laughs> now incorporate whooping and cheering and hollering. And please welcome the wonderful Vicky Stone.